Friday, happy Friday. I am starting today off um, well rested and fed from my bed and breakfast day. Delicious breakfast of eggs and French toast and coffee and juice this morning. And got dropped off where I left the trail yesterday and starting with a little bit of a road walk today. I've gone past this really neat cemetery and some pretty homes. So I'm not sure exactly what mile marker the Massachusetts border is on, but I think if I hit my mileage today, we might cross into Massachusetts. So stay tuned. Yep, the AT headed north all day, every day. Well, I took a little fall. I'm okay. Um, I slid down a hill. Um, I slipped on some leaves that were uh, piled up high and uh, wet underneath. And basically I bent my leg like this and my ankle and leg got bent up underneath me. And it was on my right side, which is my bad side. So that was not great. It's a little swollen and sore and weak. So I have stopped here at the shelter about 4.7 miles in. And uh, anyway, it looks like a nice shelter uh, to take a break at. Let's check it out. What a cool shelter. It's um, really new and nice. And it has this um, ramp, handicap accessible ramp. Pretty cool. It's got a great view here from the picnic table out of the valley. Let's check it out, shall we? Okay, so I've spent a couple, almost three hours here resting and I took some anti-inflammatories. I had some lunch, drank some crystal light, went to the bathroom. I went to get some water and checked on my ankle and my knee and they're doing as good as it can be expected. They're sprained, but I'm okay. So I'm gonna continue up and over Bear Mountain, which is like another three and a half miles to um, Sage's Ravine campsite, which is right at the Massachusetts state line. I really want to get to Massachusetts if I can. So I'm going to push to that particular campsite. So wish me luck. All right, so I made it to Rika Junction. So it's Bear Mountain starts now. The summit is in about a mile. And then I head down for about 0.7 to the Savage, uh, Sages Ravine, excuse me, campsite. So here we go. My uh, ankle is the worst. My knee is better. So I'm just taking it super slow, but I'm gonna get there. So I made it to the summit. Beautiful panoramic views. I made it, ankles holding up. Now I just gotta go down the other side and find the sign for Massachusetts and my, and my campsite. So I made it to the campsite. I have a nice pad and the bear box right over there. So it should be a good night. So I just discovered I'm in Massachusetts. I made it. I wasn't sure because I didn't see a sign that says like welcome to Massachusetts or an MA with CT line or anything like that. 
but I'll put a picture. I just looked at my location and after I went over Bear Mountain, I crossed over into Massachusetts. So you'll see my little blue dot right over the state line. It's gonna be dark soon, so I'm getting ready to get in my uh, tent and get a good night's sleep. My ankle is hurting not great but you know what I felt like such a through hiker today because I pushed through the pain and it's just a sprain it's okay I'm gonna prop it up in my tent tonight let it get some elevation I'm gonna wrap it up with my spandex shorts <laughs> hey whatever give it some compression uh, some rest right I don't have ice but um, we'll do all the rest of the things and I'll stretch it and um, do some walking around in the morning before I put my pack back on. So, but my knee is swollen, but it's, um, it's okay. It's, it's just stiff and can't really bend it all the way because of the fluid in it. But the, the ankle is a little more concerning, both on the right side. So, um, that's it. Um, wish I would have done more miles today, but... I am happy with what I was able to accomplish and what I was able to overcome. So I'll take it.